Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, design. My name is Maria and if you're here for the first time, welcome. This channel is all about trends, all about fashion and personal style. We're gonna talk about fashion trends for spring summer 2023. Texture. So right now I'm wearing something silky. It might be a little bit more rougher or maybe leather or maybe other kind of textures there will be lots of visual presentation of what happened on the runways basically you won't see me most of the time that will give you a lot of examples of how you can style something that you might already have without any further ado let's get started and the first one we're going to be talking about is sheer of course it's summer now it's a little bit more convenient to wear something sheer maybe because it's hot outside you want to have some breathability or maybe just want to have an impact on an outfit creating more layers to your outfit for sure it's not for everybody if you have a more conservative style it is definitely might not be for you but i really like it even if it's not just on like a fully naked body maybe going to the pool with that having a bathing suit as a bottom layer or maybe having just like a top dress kind of a thing on top of a very tight fitting dress we see many shows with this and this is definitely not the first time we see this on the runways we've been seeing sheerness for a quite some time and we see sheer and more of like really sporty clothes like an off-white or something a little bit more romantic we even see like sheer skirts and just having like a pair of underwear showing through i feel like that's one of the major trends that happening just having like either almost just wearing underwear like a superman on top of tights or having it see being seen through the dress like we all just saw that in Saint Laurent as well as in Prada and I'm not sure if I like this trend I just <laughs> honestly I don't have any underwear that would be appropriate to wear with this most of my underwear has some kind of picture on it yeah <laughs> maybe having a bottoms of a bathing suit would be more appropriate all right next trend that we're going to be talking about is lace close to sheer because lace can still be transparent but we also see lace being used in not so traditional outfits or clothes yes we see a lot of dresses with lace but we also see more like a sporty version almost a sweatsuit lace situation we also see a lot of detail with lace lots of nightgowns we've seen this trend a few years back so hopefully you still have it in your closet and you can take it out and wear it we also see something a little bit more granny chic in dior we have kind of some really large cutout lace cut as well so the type of lace really and how it's been used really depends on your personal style like for me i am a little bit more on a edgy side so i would like to mix that lace with something non-traditional but if you're more romantic then just having lace being a part of your outfit is very suiting for your style for sure we see lace being paired with leather it being paired with other lace maybe something shiny such as like a satin material silk material like in those nightgowns that i've mentioned even sheer and lace we also have some very lacy type of knit that we've seen in ula johnson we also see a lot of more of a dramatic lace y2k in versace but anyway let's move on to loose knit so we've seen a few shows that had kind of a looser knit maybe a little bit of a transparent knit that is very stretchy and it can still be seen we see a lot of dresses like this in Balmain we also has have dress Van Noten having really wide knit type of dresses GCDS as well very loose crochet knits in here kind of a transparent looking dresses are very net like even 
which is more on a crochet style for sure. We even see that style in bags. We've already seen this in previous seasons, but very knitted uh, or even macrame type bags as well. Okay, net, which is basically the same, I feel. So macrame or net, fish nets, or maybe like a smaller net kind of style, or maybe like even a little dress van noten right here, kind of a top layer over a dress, something extra, like an accessory. We've also seen this net being used in dresses and even in pants, so it's a continuation of that transparent trend for sure, but it can also be worn like on top of something as an accessory, as I mentioned. We've seen this in a few shows, like in Victoria Beckham, Lenvon, J.W. Anderson, Jacquemus, quite a lot. All right, so the next one up is fringe, and we see fringe either on dresses or maybe just a part, of, just kind of an overskirt effect. We also see fringe being uh, just like a, a top, just made out of fringe, or just the dress, just made out of fringe, like in Blue Marine. Bottega Veneta had a lot of fringe, either like an accent on the edge of the garment or just interpreted throughout the entire skirt. We also see a lot of fringe on accessories such as bags, especially in the Versace show. We do see a lot of fringe being kind of not loose fringe, as in it only attached at one end, but both sides uh, are attached in dresses. We see that in Balma, Dion Lee, and uh, quite a bit more other shows. We also see a more of a sparkly one in Dolce Cabana. Andres Van Noten had a very dramatic, really long type of fringe. Etro had a different idea about that. Another sparkly fringe in Jill Sander. I quite like fringe. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's not very practical, but it is definitely a fashion statement. Like in these Jill Sanders fringes, I don't know how you're gonna or do things in it. Michael Kors as well, having that super long fridge on the sleeves. Like, how are you gonna get anything done with that? I'll be so distracted. <laughs> we also have it in Tom Ford, more of a cowboy style, as well as Eula Johnson. And as I mentioned here in Versace, a lot of fringe on Versace shows, guys, a lot. Victoria Beckham had really beautiful clutches in that fringe, as well as other details on the outfits. And Alexander McQueen, okay, this is the best fringe best fringe out of all the shows. We also have Rock having a really interesting idea about a fringe section that can be actually taken off of the garment and maybe even substituted with something else. I definitely need to research a little bit more about that. All right, the next one up is the leather. Yes, leather is still here. It could be real leather. It could be faux leather completely up to you what you believe is best for the environment. I feel a leather that's already been created would be the best for it because both ways of creating new leather products is very bad for the environment. But what can I say? Where I get most of my leather items is from the thrift store. I actually got two jackets from there in men's section. One of them was like $25, the other one $35, and it was like a complete coat. I feel like when I just do decide not to wear that anymore, I could potentially make a, um, a large amount of bags out of it <laughs> if I wanted to. It is pretty interesting how fashion works in cyclical ways, so make sure to search around in your closet or maybe in your partner's closet, maybe in your parents' closet, or go thrifting. So we see a lot of leather trenches, a lot of leather skirts. We've also seen kind of like a complete outfits out of leather, kind of a Canadian tuxedo, but leather instead of denim. We see them in dresses, different colors as well. Uh, like in Chloe, we have uh, reds and yellows, and of course blacks. Gucci also having a lot of that style. We see a lot of biker jackets, like not the biker biker, but like an actual sport kind of a biker jackets as well in leather. Lots of fringed leather items in Versace. Saint Laurent having beautiful coats and jackets 
in a leather and browns and blacks just stunning alexandra mcqueen so so gorgeous i just yeah whenever yes uh rock as well really cool items going a little bit into the patent leather as well we have fendi also in leather dresses and why project just so so many so many leather so if you feel like this it belongs in your style then continue wearing it so i mentioned patent leather so we kind of have a, this plasticky material pvc i guess i don't know so a lot of it very shiny patterny kind of a leather it might be transparent it might not be transparent as you can see here we have a lot of uses but mainly there were kind of in these dresses even like over uh, top coats i guess it's really good for that light rainy weather we also see this in loewe having uh, those flowers made out of it or like a top just being really staticky and not movable we also see leggings in philosophy and even dresses in this material this is a very edgy material i do love it for my style but i don't think it's for everybody victoria beckham here styling is ideal for what i would wear moschino making it a little bit too less glamorous for me a, a little bit more blow up dolly but that was their whole thing on the runways we also see daniel w anderson with a bag with a fish inside i love that dress i wish i would ha have that for halloween uh, but yes let's move on to satin silky material kind of for what i'm wearing right now so we see this for a few seasons now and it's back we see this in many shows such as balma blue marine burberry right here and it is kind of in the same realm of very nice elegant dresses but we do also see more sporty sporty versions like in etro in diesels as well Fendi this beautiful green and oh my gosh so yes you can definitely see for yourself it's very shiny uh, very soft and smooth I love this but it's not for everybody you know how when you have something really smooth and really rough together and you can see just how much of a contrast that creates if your skin like has imperfections maybe acne scarring maybe active acne if you have a lot of silky material right next to your face it will actually magnify the amount of roughness that you might have on your skin so if you do have problems in that area maybe try to avoid having tops or dresses with that silky material maybe just have that on a bottom layer on a yeah on the bottom layer may as a skirt or a pair of pants but if it is very close to your face it will definitely make your acne scarring very visible in contrast to the very nice and smooth fabrics if you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video, maybe leave me a nice little message down below, and if you're not already, please subscribe. I do a lot more of these types of videos, and if you love fashion and love seeing it all at once and having it all rearranged for you, then I'm your girl. <laughs> Thanks. All right, next one up is shiny. Yes, shiny i have i think i've seen like everybody wear this trend for the new years everybody was wearing super shiny clothes either they are like embroidered with swarovski crystals or maybe it's a sequins maybe it's like those huge little rings that are attached and made in a dress format we see dresses we see skirts we see almost anything in this material i love it it's not for everybody of course but it is definitely a statement maker most of the shininess was done in kind of silver tones 
Uh, but they we did have a few ones with gems in different colors or maybe like a sequence in green or black i loved valentino because they had a few really matte ones that aren't really considered to be like super shiny but they did create that texture we see this in combinations with sheer dresses and having that detail we even see this on like blazers of course skirts dresses you name it we had a lot of shine in that department for sure we also see them in very unconventional ways and like in Miu Miu having kind of a simple cut of a skirt and a top but having those crystals sewn in there very interesting take also having kind of almost a liquidified material uh, by having nice sequins on there maybe some shiny leggings or just a section of the dress we also have some kind of a shine and a fringy matter from sport max we also have kind of a chain of accessory tops from stella mccartney uh some gucci items with very sparkly inserts or maybe even a full sequined outfit very very interesting very glamorous uh, even like a bomber jacket in that material tom ford had a lot of sequins on the runways as well with their gowns filled with crystals as i mentioned valentino crystals was like every other outfit was filled with very shiny material not only women's clothing also men's i feel like right now we are continually moving into the unisex outfits that where people if they want to wear it they just wear it versace for sure had a lot of it even paris hilton closed the show with her iconic y2k we also had some very interesting um hands from vivietta i loved it but i don't know if it's for everybody alexander mcqueen uh rock just so many shows that ended up using sequins or some kind of a shiny material and we're moving on to metallic so it's not far at all from the shine that we've seen but it might be like more of a fresher look because everybody ended up having a lot of sequins uh, maybe this is another way you can be shiny but without being so much on the nose for sure i would try this in an accessory uh format having maybe a purse like this i know a few seasons back we had a lot of shoes that were very metallic-y but it is here and i yeah i like it Lots of outfits in Tom Ford. We also see this in Jacquemus and a few types of pants. And let's move on into knitwear. So this is a little bit more wearable for sure. Something kind of a knit set or maybe kind of a, a little bit of a chunkier knit, but still very wearable. We have this in dresses. We have this in just tops. Um, the only thing I'm thinking about it is like it's summer and if it's a short dress, you might just be like sweating in sections of it and that's never a great look we also have some interesting cutouts in those sweaters like an off-white having like belly showing this reminds me a lot of like wedding dress fails but who knows maybe now it's a win we also see this in a fendi and many more shows all right so we have some kind of a fuzzy furry uh, material here in Balma as well as in Fandy. We also have a few things, velvety dresses, but it, this texture wasn't the most popular. I'm just putting a few things that I've seen here and usually I go for the numbers. Like if I see something a lot on the runway shows then it's definite yes, but if it's not being pushed as hard then is it even a trend? All right, the next one is the furs, the fuzziness. Um so we see in Fendi resort show a uh, very fuzzy bucket hats. I think we've had enough of those, but there have been a few other accessories uh, on the runways as well, as, alongside of very fuzzy jackets. Okay, next one up are feathers. We see feathers everywhere nowadays. If the jacket isn't 
like doesn't have feathers is it even fancy at all i don't think so so feathers right now are having a big moment i'm not sure how big it is going to continue just because there is a really big push on having like feather accents on the sleeves or maybe the bottom of the pants uh, so we'll see how far this goes all right of course, we still see some very classical textures, like the classical Chanel tweed, and we also see a few examples of this in Givenchy, kind of mixing it the classical with a sporty style. I quite like this. This is something I would wear for sure, but definitely not the classical Chanel for me. No, thank you. I'm not that kind of a lady. Another classical thing we've seen are pleated items very beautiful very classical if you feel like it's something that you would wear for the rest of your life i'm pretty sure you would okay so the next one is straw or having really like tough texture in here we see a lot of this in a balma show the whole jacquemus show was basically straw being thrown confetti straws i wonder how some of the models weren't like allergic to it but just i guess with the grace of god anyway so we see this being used as fringe and a lot of their clothing and um how wearable is this i know like if it's on a bag or maybe a hat it's okay but like being part of the clothing i don't know all right next one up is more of a heavier texture I don't even know what to call this, but it is very texturous. Denim. So, as I mentioned, we've seen a lot of denim, maybe even some very long denim maxi skirts or maxi dresses. We see a lot of Canadian tuxedos on the runways that being having denim bottoms and de denim tops. Diesel being as part of like one of those super returning brands that everybody is obsessed with now had a lot of that. I also see a lot of denim recreations by regular Instagrammers and YouTubers by repurposing their used or maybe uh, upcycled, maybe something drawn on the item such as an off-white. We have this kind of a skeleton formation, maybe use some bleach on your outfits i don't know be creative if you want to upcycle i think it's the best way to get something new out of your wardrobe or just think about a new way of styling it like here we see a lot of wide leg denim uh, we see a lot of maxi dresses as i mentioned we even have like some really interesting denim that's kind of worn in a way in a different way like in y project here we have some patchwork denim we have some very distressed denim on the runways maybe it's bleached maybe it's torn up and this is actually the next trend we see a lot of distressed items maybe as i mentioned it's denim that is torn through maybe it's already like even fringing denim maybe there are items with holes in the clothing it doesn't even have to be denim it can be either like leather or just a regular material we see a lot of it and it's not only on the runways i've noticed a lot of it being a part of in everyday life <laughs> with lots of people upcycling their items by actually distressing them i don't know is that the same as upcycling but we even here we have kind of a crinkled up uh, texture uh, that I feel is part of distressed, kind of like painted over material but then stretched so the paint is cracked in some edges. And we even have kind of blazers coated in paint but then it cracks. I'm not sure how wearable this is. Even one of the shows I remember had like cemented shirts and then they crumbled it and that was part of the style like a visual presentation but i'm not sure how like how would you wear this uh, we also see a lot of very crumpled up uh, things like we've seen this in dress van newton as well as we've seen this in a versace show and i believe in in burberry in n21 so a lot of shows had this unironed kind of a feel to their items this is perfect for anybody who is lazy like me and doesn't want to iron their clothing uh, so i might go for it <laughs> i feel like it would not be very classical 
I think it would be more of a trend, but it's interesting to experiment. Those items are pretty, I'm pretty sure were treated that way, so they will keep their wrinkles. You just wrinkling your clothes might not be enough, but maybe it will be an interesting contrast if you have something that is super wrinkled up and then something like super nice and ironed, very sharp. So that might be an interesting twist. Like if you're not your entire outfit is all wrinkled up, but something is and something isn't. Okay, next one up are ruffles. This is definitely for more of a feminine look. If you like to be nice, soft, uh, inviting, this is definitely for you. I've noticed that French is not for me, but that's okay. That's not my personal style and that is completely fine. But if you've been saying, oh my goodness, to everything, almost everything I've been saying to you beforehand, then you might like this one. <laughs> we see it being kind of on a smaller fringe as well as a, what fringe, not fringe, ruffles. Did, was I saying fringe all this time? I don't even know. Ruffles. We have smaller ruffles or maybe larger ruffles uh, and in variety of shows and variety of um, fabrics as well, some being made out of chiffon very nice and flowy while others kind of keeping their form like we had some of them from like patent leather even so that those are a little bit more edgy <laughs> we also see a lot of draping or i would even say i don't think it's draping it's a rough ridge to ruffle rough not ruffled like a gathered fabric this type of clothing is very good if you would like to disguise any kind of imperfection in your body that's for sure it, it hides underwear lines well it hides your belly it is very very flattering for almost any body shape it kind of just like lays there on you and it looks really really ruching of the fabric is that the word okay next one is some a very interesting pleating of the fabric that is like manipulation of the fabric so it has really weird odd shapes i it really reminds me of y2k moments but here are some other versions of of textures that were interesting some very spiky ones here we even seen some of the wetsuit material on the runways as well all right well we're here we're at the end of the video thank you very much for watching hopefully you understood a little bit more about what's going on in the fashion world by textures as i mentioned i've created already a few videos i have three so far i believe and it is february so if you're watching this not in february then i probably have more videos they'll be linked down below probably you should just watch the entire series of this for spring summer 2023 i am really excited to hear from you i've noticed that some people let me know that short clips that growing too fast are actually making them nauseous so i've tried to make the clips a little longer um, a little less of them but i really want to show you guys the variety of ways you can style things and put as much of the runways into these videos you don't want to see my face all the time i noticed some youtubers just have like one picture of the thing they're talking about no you need to see it all maybe it, you have something on that's on the runways or similar to what's on the runways and you, then you have that idea oh this is how i can recreate an outfit like this or this is i can pair it with something new this time and that is what i'm hopefully here to do and hopefully I've achieved a little bit like one new outfit for you. <laughs> if you like this video, please consider to like it. Maybe leave me a little nice comment down below. And if you're not already, subscribe because I want to make this my full-time job. But right now I am studying, so I can not do that. <laughs> yes, I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day and stay classy. Bye.